It was a long time ago, longer now than it seems, in a place that perhaps you've seen in your dreams. For the story that you are about to be told took place in the holiday worlds of old. Now, you probably wondered where holidays come from. If you haven't, I'd say it's time you begun. shall I do? Stop. Piss me off, lady. It's only me. Aren't you starting a little early, dear? I can't help it. I'm so excited. It's going to be Lumpy's first time trick-or-treating. Nobody cares. Wow, what an asshole. Why, hello there. Do me a favor and become my lunch. That's why friends are made for helping others, teasing them, and not giving the personal space. Like my close friend Kelly R. McCray. Oh yeah, like who asked you? And I just can't stand those two. Their relationship is not normal, not healthy, not dating or anything. That's just gross. But I have a plan to fix that. I'm gonna straight up kill them. Why do that? It's because... I'm a killer. From a game. And that's what you should know. He's just a kid. However, he needs to know the real stuff of Halloween. I'm gonna kill his friends and show him what Halloween's really about. Wanna kill his friends? Cause that's what I do. I kill people for a living. Okay. And it's time we showed our new friend what my favorite night of the year is all about. <laughs> no Halloween night is good when we're trick or treat. Get the fuck out of my room and play Minecraft! Who the woods? I'll be sneaking up and peeking.
a tippity toes and creakin boogity boo and like the soup potato should. Well, a sweet treat is just my cup of tea. And a tricky trick is just a treat for me. <laughs> oh, but if Jimmy cracks corn and no one cares, what does it keep? Make that the ghoulie ghost just howl in a tree. We are daring to be scary. Who's behind that mask you're wearing? Devil's spooky friend. share the sweets we're eating when we're home from trick-or-treating with our friends. All the spookables crawl out from where they hide. Do you think they might be hiding here? Yeah. Well, together we're more clever. We go places they would never. And the boo <laughs> will send them for a ride. We got dead. <laughs> Who's behind that mask you're wearing? Ooh, I'm so scared. We can boo a spooky greeting. Then we'll share the sweets we're eating when we're home from trick or treating with our friends. When we're home from trick or treating with our friends. At least for now, Halloween isn't that scary. Right, Tigger? Oh, you said it, Boo, old pal. You know, as long as we don't run into the kaboom, of course. <laughs> no, Tigger, not the kaboom. What's a kaboom? <gasps> Let me tell you a story about a predator-like creature that storms all over the place. He looks like he has a plant for a head. That's why sometimes we call him a plant monster. Legend says he turns people into jack-o'-lanterns or jag tea lanterns His lair lies beyond the creepy cave. Down the slimy slide. And in the tree. However, if you catch him first, he will grant you one wish, one and only wish. One is fair enough. Oh, fiddlesticks and nonsense. There's no such thing as a kabloon, and that's all there is to it. Hey, 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 who do you call the kabloon? I'm a demo gorgon. A demo gorgon. It's like one of those days, isn't it?